Hey friends, one thing that happens at this time of year, in the new year, we're always on track to, you know, be a healthier us, start our year fresh, do it really well. So we buy all these ingredients from the market, super fresh, but sometimes and quite often, they don't always get used. So you're left over with all these ingredients that you're like, oh, I don't want to go to waste. So today, I'm going to showcase how you can use these ingredients in a, an innovative Vietnamese rice paper roll phenomenon. This is like, think like a Frankenstein or the superfoods of a Vietnamese spring roll. So over here, we've got some pretty wacky ingredients. You're probably used to seeing carrot, you know, maybe some radish, some cucumber. No, not today. We've got some kale, of course, uh, celery, apple, and a broccoli stem. These were all the things that were actually left over in my fridge. So, believe it or not, I keep my stems. I always tell you guys to as well. So we're gonna cut these things up, get them prepared for a phenomenal Vietnamese roll. Now, what you have to remember when it comes to our spring rolls is that these things are pretty much built around texture. So you wanna have heaps of texture, pop of like acid. Apple is gonna be phenomenal for that reason. So let's get into it. Start with that broccoli stem. Take the very root end off. I've told you guys before, the stems of our you know, vegetables and fruits are actually the ones that are packed with the most amount of nutrients. So this is not only a way to you know, minimize waste, but it's also a fantastic way to get the best nutrients out of our ingredients. So similarly, we've also got our celery. Now, I always have carrot, celery, and onion in my fridge because it is the basis for a lot of savory dishes. Now, the apple is essential in my opinion. Not only is it found in my fridge, but it's going to offer that little tart sweetness of crunch that we're going to love when we bite in. So you're going to get texture, you're going to get sweetness, it's going to get everything you want. So now that we've got our secondsies, reusable, fantastic, nutrient-dense ingredients sliced up and ready to be wrapped, it's time to make the next level peanut sauce. Some chili flakes, get them in there. We also have some tamari, which is a gluten-free soy. And of course, you can't have peanut sauce without peanuts. So here we got a classic peanut butter, crunchy, natural as always. Just a good dollop, yeah, that's healthy right there. We're gonna have the sweetness from some maple. And then just for a quick little bit of acid, you can rust wine vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar, just put a little here, not too much. The sauces are really simple to make in my opinion, particularly blitz or mix and store. And they can really change your, you know, next meal, whether it be a salad, um, you know, you could be roasting vegetables and drizzling over the top. You could be doing a stir, stir fry, it's so easy. So along with our vegetables, we also have a protein. You don't have to have an animal protein if you don't wish, but, We've got here some beautiful shrimp. Now this is actually, believe it or not, I got this from Australia. A friend, um, he shipped these over from me from Australia. So, hence you can see, Australian shrimp, these are massive. This is from Raptus Seafoods. Shout out to my friend George and his family, Raptus. They, these things are huge. So we have peeled the shrimp, all the prawns. It's now time to steam them. Really simple way of doing that. Get yourself a saucepan. Fill it with a, put that an inch high of water. Put that on a high heat and put a lid on top. Get yourself a colander. You can get them that are smaller, some that are bigger. You just need something that's going to fit whatever you're steaming. Same thing can be done with your steaming dumplings, uh, chicken, fish, whatever you need. So, I'm just going to put this directly onto our pot like that and add in our shrimp or prawns. You may actually need something to cover it, and that'll take about three to four minutes, depending on the thickness. But you want to slightly undercook it, because by the time it takes to get out of there, onto your you know, chopping board slice, and onto the rice paper roll, it's going to be cooked, yeah? So you just want to make sure you time it perfection. You'll see that, particularly with coloration in shrimp, they will change to a more ready orange-like number. Team, what I've done here is I've actually shocked our shrimp prawns in iced water. So what it's gonna do is that when you take them off the heat, you immediately put them in a cold situation. That's gonna stop the cooking process and prevents our shrimp from overcooking. You gotta remember, shrimp or prawns are something that really can overcook and you don't want them rubbery. So, they'll be in there for a couple of minutes and then what we do, just remove them and you can start slicing. You know, it doesn't have to be accurate. I'm just gonna slice them up this way. So now it's time to assemble. This is the fun part. You have all your ingredients set out, Put some music on, get some friends around, 
and enjoy what is a pretty cool experience of bonding with rice paper rolls. So I'm just dunking a rice paper into some water, just cold or you know, just straight from the tap, making sure it's all submerged. So carefully pick it up, straight down, and there's time to go to work. Let's start with you know, our leafage. Let's get the kale in there, it's out of that base. Obviously get a few things of each, get them going along the length of which you want, and then time to get wrapping. So, I kind of do this thing where I go from the back, tuck it in, go right over the top, get a nice little wrap on that, and get a roll from there, pull the end in, pull the other end in, and then wrap again. You can see the colours of all your fun and games all in one little lock. And you just want to make sure that it's locked off at the end. Nice and dry. One done. There we have some pretty special, non-traditional, but still enjoyable, tasty, reusable Vietnamese spring rolls. So, the situation here is you can use a lot of stuff in your fridge, make sure it doesn't go to waste, and that's what's really important, particularly in this day and age. But it's so colorful, like we've got kale, broccoli stem, apple, you get a different texture kind of thing going on. Obviously shrimp, just anyone can get that from a local supermarket if you can. If not, you can swap for something else. You don't need it to be this. It's completely versatile. One of the best things about rice paper rolls is whatever you want goes into them is exactly what it can be. So now it's time to get our dunk on. Here we go, get a nice greeny looking one. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, so we've got our rice paper roll, we've got our peanut sauce, which looks phenomenal. I'm just gonna give you a little... All right, and from that, in goes peanut goodness. Mm. You don't have to worry about texture. Oh, it's funny because there's celery in there, right? Peanut butter on celery sticks is what we grew up with. There's almost this combination of flavors coming together from nostalgia that isn't traditional, but that is absolutely tasty. Texture, sweetness from the apple, the peanut sauce, and crunch. Oh my god. Definitely try this. Let me know what's in your fridge. Let me know what spring rolls you came up with. As always, if you want the recipe, head to the website. I promise you I will swallow it once I stop talking to you. <laughs> you can always give us a like if you like this recipe and of course a comment down below if you want to see something different. Make sure you hit subscribe if you want to see more of these tasty healthy recipes with innovative goodness. I'm Dan Churchill, I'm going to keep eating the spring roll, I'll check you next week. Bye!